Hottest July ever. I mean never, like it never happened. On August 13, NOAA announced their doom and gloom with their headliner. It's official. July was Earth's hottest month on record. Well, good thing I have fossil-fueled air conditioning because I never noticed, even down here in Florida. But let's see what all the fuss is about. So here's the smoking gun. Here's the NOAA temperature graph showing that the July 2021 temperature anomaly was 0.93 degrees Celsius higher than their baseline. That graph looks quite impressive. And just in case you didn't notice that hot July, NOAA has many supporters out there to ensure we do notice. And they don't even get paid, or maybe they do. But to the surprise of all their supporters, NOAA changed their mind. On September 14, a month later, NOAA updated its July 2021 data. Oh my gosh, are they allowed to do that? I thought temperature data was gospel, the foundation upon which all knowledge is built. If you can't trust the data, what can you trust? Well, anyway, let's see what they changed. First here again is their original graph with the 0 0.93 degrees Celsius value. And here's an expanded view of their updated graph with their new value of 0 0.92 degrees. And would you look at that? It's only one hundredth of a degree less. Again, here's the old value of 0 0.93 degrees and the new value of 0 0.92 degrees. It now matches the July temperature anomaly of 2019. More importantly, drum roll please, July 2021 is no longer the hottest July ever. Hmm. Why is that? Why was the prior temperature incorrectly higher? Could it be they have a new temperature data editor? It's also interesting to note that NOAA says their data accuracy is plus or minus 0 0.19 degrees Celsius. This is also reflected in the 2011 NCEI report and the 2007 IPCC report. This accuracy value is nearly 20 times higher than the 0 0.01 degree temperature difference flagged by NOAA. In the science world, these changes are called noise and insignificant. Again, these temperature differences are so tiny, humans can't even feel the difference. But no matter, even though we're in another temperature pause, Joe keeps saying it's an existential threat. And when it comes to global warming, the weapon of choice seems to be ice cream. The problem is trying to decide which flavor works best. Remember, with temperature changes both up and down, they are so tiny you can't even feel the differences. Not to mention that they are way smaller than our instrument's margin of error. There is no climate change crisis, just a climate education crisis.